What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ground Branch because they just announced something that seems interesting to me. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video so that more people can see it. Subscribe if you're new and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ground Branch or any other game that I decide to cover. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. So the name of this update is called Special Announcement Kithra AI? Kythira maybe? I'm not sure if that's how you say that. Well anyways, it starts off with saying, Today, we're taking a little bit of a break from working on the version 1032.1 patch for a special announcement. It is no secret that the bots in Ground Branch are still very bare bones and have a long way to go, which is why AI will remain one of the main focuses of our upcoming major releases. As many players are aware, developing human-like tactical AI is, to say the least, extremely tricky, even for large AAA studios. Well, I would say debatable, because I feel like AAA studios have the means to do it, but they just don't do it. Like, they'd rather settle for mediocrity than actually improve games. And why you don't see better AI in the indie scene is because they don't have the manpower, they don't have the money, or maybe they they just don't have the talent but that's just my opinion what's yours got a bit off track here but uh getting back to the update let alone a small team like blackfoot studios and capable ai developers willing to take a niche project like ours are not easy to come by then they go on to say while game development can be an indefinitely deep can of worms it is made a little bit easier today by solutions such as epic's unreal engine and the ecosystem of plugins that support it enter Cathera ai which is a middleware tool set that greatly enhances and facilitates AI development with features like their 2D navigation system, which includes formations, contextual pathfinding, and character avoidance, automatic markup to help generate cover and vaulting points, for example, spatial query system, which will help with combat maneuvers, among other things, and enhanced behavior trees. So I know nothing about this Kythera or Kithira AI. So let's go ahead and take a look at their website that they provided here. At the top it says, Choose the complete AI solution. Building engaging AI for games is hard, and engines and plugins only solve a few problems. But Kythira AI is different. We're a complete AI solution for your game and team. They have a video here. Let's take a look at that. In the beginning it says, Key features. Navigation. 2D navigation, 3D flight avoidance and formations. Nav mesh pruning. Behavior. Behavior trees, blackboard signaling, advanced markup, cover and navigation links, debugging, visual streaming and recording. I'm not sure what any of this means, but I'm sure somebody that knows how to, uh, you know, deal with AI would obviously know how to uh, comprehend this stuff, I suppose. Let's just take a look through this video here. It says modifying the levels and see instant results. So he, this guy is obviously modifying a level of a game that I'm not really too sure about. But it looks like a log stops here and this guy just like walks over. I'm assuming that's AI? And this guy's controlling this guy, the AI is right behind him. The AI just goes straight ahead, but then tries to come back and notices that there's a wall, so he goes around. Looks like he's building a wall there. So the AI is trying to find a path, I assume. This right here looks kind of cool. They're actually like moving from cover to cover. And stuff like that. I'm not even reading it. So he goes over the bridge, it's called Fully Dynamic Nav Mesh Generation, 2D Pathfinding Contextual Steering, Automatic Contextual Navigation Links, Automatic Cover Generation, Easy to Use Spatial Query System, Configurable Cover Types, which is gonna be great for the AI for Ground Branch. And you can see them like moving from cover to cover. I'm assuming the yellow means like tall cover and blue means short cover. Oh, is that what they mean by trees? Create and edit behavior trees. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen those before. Instantly see the results. Live behavior tree debugging. Tree debugging. 3D arc tree generation. Orca obstacle avoiding system. So he's like avoiding a bunch of obstacles, it looks like. Comprehensive debugging draw tools. 3D pathfinding for large worlds. Advanced 3D navigation splines. 3D physics based movement. Cool. Formations. That's, that's pretty dope, actually. 
This is gonna be great for like terrorists when they're walking in groups. Avoid obstacles as a formation. Okay. Then they have a bunch of stuff here. Advanced 2D and 3D navigation, automatic workup, dynamic regeneration at runtime, fully configurable and extensible. Extensible? For AAA and custom engines. Pretty neat, not gonna lie. It looks like they've actually partnered with a bunch of games before, and the only one that I kind of recognize is miscreated, which is that survival game that I haven't touched in freaking forever. But I know that they have like a bunch of like zombie types of uh, AI. I know that there was also like a variety of zombies too, like a uh, spider type and a Hulk looking dude, regular zombies, and I think there was also one with a tail that went really fast. I might be thinking of a different game, but I don't remember. And yeah, it was pretty good, not terrible. These are like the three main indie games it looks like, but they also seem to have worked with AAA Studio, so I mean, that's gotta be pretty good. Will this help out Ground Branch? Mm, hopefully, we shall see. But uh, continuing on, with that introduction, and as you have probably guessed by now, we are excited to announce that the Kythera AI toolset is now fully licensed for Ground Branch. We very much look forward to resume AI development from version 1033 and onwards, as well as start giving players more of a realistic and immersive PvE experience with Kythera's partnership as we move forward. In John's own words, which if those of you that don't know who John is, He's the, uh, one of the main guys, or if not the main guy behind Ground Branch. The update goes on to quote him by saying, Great AI is crucial for us, and as a smaller studio without dedicated AI engineers, Kythera AI is a perfect solution. Their toolset easily integrates with our existing work in Unreal, and lets us provide comprehensive intelligent AI that we can maintain and continually improve. We can't wait to roll out the first of these updates in the near future. Can't wait to see it. So there you have it, folks. Our AI has gone bare bones for long enough enough, and as promised, we're picking it back up very soon, with a leading industry solution to boot. While this does not mean state-of-the-art tangos and squad AI at the press of a button, we are confident that the addition to giving us the technical support we need, Kythera will offer a better foundation for our AI and generally make our lives much easier while developing it. We'd like to thank Kythera AI for their partnership, and we can't wait to start putting their tools to good use. And that's pretty much the update. You know, Ground Branch is definitely one of those games that has a lot going for it. It's got a good selection of good maps. The customization for apparel and weapons is fantastic. The new animation update just makes the guns feel a lot better and animations overall look better. Majority of the guns sound really good, but some of them sound kind of samey because obviously the game style has a long way to go. The thing that really stands out with this game is just how bad the AI is. I mean, the AI used to be a lot worse. Like they used to like laser beam me the first time that this game came out. The moment I stick my head out, just just dead. But they really dumbed them down since then and now they're kind of just inconsistent consistent like sometimes they'll just be staring at a wall or running around not really responding to getting shot or anything like that or maybe they'll actually be good ai and actually flank you or push on you when you're out of ammo again very inconsistent ai in the current version of ground branch so hopefully this enhances the ai so that we have you know a better time in the pve mode not saying that i don't like it now but it would be great if the ai was actually a little more intelligent and i'm pretty sure that this will probably lead to friendly ai where you can actually command your squad and all that stuff so hopefully this accelerates that and uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really got to say about that. If you guys got any more to say, let me know down below. It's a relatively short update, but this is just all I got when it comes to Ground Branch. All right, I'm going to end it here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Ground Branch, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, or hop on that join button that's underneath the video. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on games like Ground Branch or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.